This is something that I'm used to I'm a great pretender Smiling in your face, I knows I could be better Welcome, or welcome back It's Maya If any of these videos end up getting posted Because right now I'm trying to batch film The last video that I filmed was my 24 hour reading vlog which I loved and which was great and I have no clue what this video is going to be I just have the desire to film and talk to a camera because I've been really depressed out when I haven't been talking to my friends but I just want to talk about books and not like real life stuff but my room is different from the last time that I filmed because I feel like I go through these like depression phases but basically since I don't know why it's like showing that it's like those are like open because they're completely closed and it's not as light in my room as it's showing besides my light that's right here but basically I had two copies of not so meant to be in a not so me cute because I had the old covers and then the new covers came out and then I didn't have the third book so I rebought those ones so I tore up one of the copies and now the pages are all over my walls which I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with and then I finally got some more um, floating shelves the issue is I tried to put these up like as soon as I got it last week or two weeks ago or something and they were just not going up and it was just really frustrating me so I just stopped and like my books have just been giving me so much anxiety because like all of these books I still have more but they were just like all over my room and it was making me feel claustrophobic them not being on my dresser and my desk and them being like up high just makes me feel a lot better i don't know why it's they're still in my room but it just makes me feel a lot better because i just felt like i was just like walking like that but i still have to do three more that are above there but i need to take a break because i'm tired also got a new chair well not new because I never had a chair before but I rearranged my room and I have space for my reading <laughs> I'm obsessed with her I've been getting up like early when I had to go to work and been sitting there and reading in that chair and I'm just obsessed I love it so much she's so cute and comfy that's why like I want to get my room fully together I say fully together I just have to put those ones up but now I have to pull the chair out and put them up so it's just a lot but I just feel like my room feels complete and I don't know I like I need to know if there's like some type of like psychology thing because no matter what I have to have my room completely done and decorated like my family has been they moved into this house while I was away at college and like they have like little stuff on the wall here or there but like not I look more lived in than they do but it's just something like I just feel the need for my room to be completely done and this chair completes it. it gives me a little space for my lotso because i feel like having lotso on my bed is a little bit too much pink so i have my cow i have two like of my favorite stuffed animals the cow that my mom got me she sits on my bed because she's black and white and so she's the contrast of the pink and then lotso what my brother got me sits on my little white chair with my little pink throw blanket i'm just obsessed and i love them so much but anyways back to the premise of this video so right now i'm currently reading I guess this is just going to be like a weekend in my life because technically it's my weekend. It's my Friday for me, even though it's Wednesday because I have Wednesday, Thursday off of work. Don't even get me started. But right now I'm reading The Devious Husband by Katharina Mora, which is the sixth and final book, I think, of the Windsor series. So I'm reading her. We're going to eat her up. I don't, I think I, I just might give my thoughts like this will be a reading vlog. But the whole reason why I wanted to film is because this bad boy came in the mail. This big ignore. I really hate men on the cover. I really do. This is the only, I'm like looking around like this is the only exception that I have. Everything else has to be a cartoon or it has to be discreet. But I started reading the series before the discreet book started coming out and at that point I had already had three so then there was no I was not going to rebuy them like it took everything out of me to rebuy the not so me like I just I'm just not that type of person like I don't really do not really but I don't do like the special editions like all that type of stuff 
I get what comes out and I, and I like what I like. But anyways, this 800 page bad boy, I want to get through all my off days. So we're going to see if we can finish her in 48 hours, but I'm so excited. I feel like this is like a very anticipated book that I have this year and I'm super excited and then Erin's gonna be off I think she said Thursday Friday is when she's off I don't know if I've stated this before in any of these videos but I have two best friends basically who read I have Anijah who's my college bestie and Erin who's my I have Anijah who's my high school bestie and Erin who's my college bestie Anijah loves rom-coms loves the little cutesy books Erin she's there with me on the dark romance like she jumped into the ritual and ate it up in two or three days so anytime I read like a dark romance book I tell Erin to get it and to read it and she becomes obsessed so I'm super excited to read those with her also I started a mini book club with Anijah and Kaylee Kaylee is my sister-in-law I call her my sister-in-law they're not engaged but she's gonna be a part of my life for the rest of my life and we're gonna read collide together because you wouldn't believe I feel like there's so many books that are part of series because she was like yeah just give me a book but I'm like literally every book that I was getting ready to read already had a prior book like I was getting ready to read wild wild eyes but she would have to read wild love then I was reading daydream but then she had to read icebreaker and wildfire then I was reading play along but then she had to read my high right move and caught up there was just you know and so I finally found a book and the second book isn't out until January, so that's great. I'm excited to read her, but there's just, there's so many books I want to read right now. These are also on my current TBR, like ASAP reads. So I have Fall With Me by Mega Mac, which I'm super excited to read because I love this series too, but I hate, this is my issue. I start reading these books before they get to these big publishers now i have the first three books and the blue covers and now i have the this one and it it kills me but whatever but then i have bridesmaids undercover which i'm super excited about because i rip i people i feel like have mixed feelings about bridesmaids for hire i loved it so i know i'm gonna love this one i'm also not a harsh book person I don't have thoughts and opinions like that. I feel like it's very rare for me to not like a book and I'm just here to escape and have a good time. Two books by Luna Mason. I have Chaos and Caged and I completely even forgot what these books are about. I'm like are they about Vegas? I don't remember but I've read what other I've read her other books. I don't know what it's called but I read Distance, Detonate, Devoted and so whatever that that was and I like I said I don't have high standards. A book is a book and I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna eat it up. That's my brain dump. This is this is why I wanted to film because I just I just have so many thoughts and I just needed to get them out. Cause I also know like of course I have my people when they read, but they be going through their own stuff and I don't wanna be bothering them about a damn book. So those are the current vibes right now. I'm debating whether or not I just want to ask Mark to put up the rest of those. But I also want to get this ladder out of my room because it's been in my room for like a week. It took me like 40 minutes to put those up. And then I didn't measure this side, but it looks so good. And I'm like, do I just finish it now? I don't know. Excuse my bed. I'm like, my strawberries, my grapes. I stopped at the grocery store when I came home. But yeah, that's the current mood. I'm just trying to hurry. I think I'm just gonna suck it up. I know my brother's home and I know he's probably like, what the hell is she doing? Because I've been drilling for like God knows how long and I know he's probably annoyed, but I don't care because we're at home anyway. But oh, also, I don't know if you could tell, but I forgot her name, but there's this TikToker and she was showing how like she like pinned a book on her wall and I think that it looks so cute. But I tried to do it on the other side too, but the book was too heavy, so I think I might only be able to do one. I'm also like really tempted because I'm like, dang, I kind of want to do my room so my mom can see it. But also my room's not like that, that clean, as you can see. But also these are the books that I tried to shove on the wall, so maybe I should go put them back in their spot. I also have not gone to sleep since I came home from work. If you guys if I haven't said this already either, I work overnight I'm an overnight manager at a hotel and I have not been to sleep since I got off of work at 8 o'clock this morning and it's now like 12 something 
so I think I'm still just gonna take this adrenaline that I have put up the last three because it's only three and I feel like I could put them up and then I could put the rest of my books up and then we'll be like good because that that's the reason why my room feels a mess is because I have books all over the place but I also have a couple plates and stuff that I'm not going to show you guys and I've been rambling for 11 minutes now and I know I'm going to cut a lot of this out if I do edit this oh before I go I am also planning on changing these two picture frames and the one in the middle but when I tried to get new prints it's a hundred dollars and I'm not trying to pay a hundred dollars so I'm trying to find a coupon because I'm not paying a hundred dollars to put prints in my room but I want them to be pink because I just feel like the neutral vibe was from when I had my neutrals colors when i lived in vegas like my bedding was green like that's why the neutral vibes work but now i'm in my girly era and i just feel healed like as a girl when you start loving pink again that's just really that's just really the vibe but yeah i'm gonna do that and i'm probably gonna make myself a dirty soda because i got myself to make my dirty soda and i'm obsessed I also watched the Real Housewives and Mormon Wives and I need somebody to talk about it with. It's killing me inside, so I just told Jason that he needs to watch it because I'm obsessed. But I got my root beer, I got my vanilla, and I got my vanilla creamer. So, but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because I probably could have already measured the top out. So, I'll talk to you guys probably when I wake back up and hopefully... By the time I come back to you, it'll be like 10 o'clock or something like that. And I'll have that up, I'll have my book done, and I'll have my room cleaned. But we shall see. And then we can get into the good stuff. My, my good sis, Miss Chantel. Yeah. You don't even know what time it is. Over the past 20 minutes, I have been sobbing at the end of this book. I don't know how many, this is how many pages I have left and I have been sobbing my eyes out if this is not your sign to go read this book I have been in this chair bawling literally I don't think I, I haven't cried this hard in like months and I don't know if my period is about to start or what, but your girl is going through it over here. She's really going through it. <laughs> but I can't, I can't do this. I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach, fam. Like, basically, we're at the very end of the book, and this is just a spoiler alert if you haven't read the book or anything. Um, and I'm like, I don't know how they're gonna fix this, but. Basically, like, she told him to sign the divorce papers, and, like, he was, like, not signing the divorce papers, and then, like, from his POV, he's finally, like, oh, God, like, I'm not making her happy, like, I need to sign them. So he signs the divorce papers, and he's, like, oh, like, read this first before, you know, you file the papers. And at the very, like, he basically, like, wrote her this book, and at the very end, oh, my God, my heart is, like, like, physically hurting. He goes... The story is one that I was certain would end in the words and they lived happily ever after, but instead, you'll always be the one that got away. Like, please, don't make me harm myself. The thing is, I should have tried harder. I should have never given up on the only woman that I've ever loved. But what else could I do when you begin to look at another man the way they used to look at me? Your happiness is all I've ever wanted and it even if it's at the cost of mine, you deserve to be happy with the man of your own choosing. I should never have gotten in your way. My selfishness just cost you so much and there's nothing I can do to make it right, but I can't do this. I will let you go even if it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Even if I'll regret it for a million years in a day. I love you, Sierra. Thank you for allowing me to experience real happiness for the first time in my life and allowing me to live out some of my greatest dreams. I'll never regret you, kitten. You'll always be the best thing that has ever happened to me. Like, I've been dying. I'm dying. Like, I'm sitting there over there in that chair and my chest is hurting. Because why? What? What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, 
and I know, I know, it's like a cute little romance, and I know they're gonna get back together at the end, but, Catherine and Maura, why are you doing this to me? Why am I getting put through this? Like, oh, I'll come back to you guys when I'm done, because I'm going through it. All right, guys, the book, she's done. 4.75 stars. I feel like I probably would have rated it 5 stars if I wasn't sleepy and like skimmed through like a little teeny bit of it. Of course they ended up together which we love and this was not supposed to be a reading vlog for this book but I did not think that the book was going to tear me up the way that it did which makes me really glad I did not read it on my lunch today because I would have been a freaking mess at work. I have no clue what time it is. It's probably like 4 o'clock now and I have not gone to sleep yet. So I'm about to turn my lights off, shut my eyes, and then we'll wake up and start um, madness. That's what it's called. I was like, I don't even know what it's called. Y'all, I am so comfy in this chair. I'm like, I wish I had like a little footrest. I think that would have been great. Because I was like tempted. I was like, oh, I don't need this. I'm going to put it on. No, I need this. And so and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my my little feetsies. I'm just hanging off of it. But, um, yeah. I freaking loved her. I love that series. And I'm sad that it's over. That has such a special place in my heart. That's it. And I guess I'll see you guys when I when I wake up. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back. Sorry if I look a little crazy. I'm also whispering because it's currently 2.19. Um, I've been up for maybe like an hour just like scrolling on TikTok and stuff. But I'm finally like up and awake. This is the life of freaking being an overnight manager because I don't get to see my freaking family and this is why I hate having one day Thursday off because I literally don't see my family like I basically stayed up until like four o'clock in the afternoon and then now I'm just now waking up at one o'clock and obviously everybody's asleep and then everybody's gonna be getting ready for work in like a few hours work in school so to not get more depressed than I already was. This is why I'm going to do this little reading vlog. But we're all set. I got my chair. I'm just on the floor so I can film this like little part. But we got our little dirty soda. I just have the Tarani Vanilla, the Bart's um, root beer. And then the Delight Vanilla Creamer. Love that creamer so much. But mm, I love me a good dirty soda. I truly do. But I usually play music on my TV. But obviously I'm not going to do that because it's 2 o'clock in the morning and everyone's asleep. So shout out to the wonderful rents. And I have my headphones. So we're going to get comfy cozy. I have my little space heater because it's... This is what's so annoying about living in California. It's just like, it'll be freezing cold at night and then it'll be like hot in the morning. Like, I'm being dramatic, obviously, because I live in California and I've lived in Vegas for five years, but it's 61 degrees, which for me is cold and I don't like that. And it's only gonna get colder, it's gonna go down to 57 and I'm just not with that so I got my little space heater I got my book I got my headphones now I just need to find a playlist usually when I read I just look up the playlist of the book that I'm reading on Spotify so let's see if there's a playlist or if there's not a playlist then I do just do the the genre of book that I'm reading and I feel like that's also what heightens like my emotions like Last night I was listening to the playlist of um, The Deviant Husband, is that the name of the book? And I think just the way that the music and the scenes are going, it was just, it just heightens the experience for me. So there are a couple of playlists, so eh, that one's only for an hour. Sometimes I wish like people would make playlists for as long as the book goes, but obviously that's really hard. But this one's an hour and four minutes, so I guess we'll do this playlist if you guys end up reading it the way that I do but we're gonna read for now we're gonna time lapse 
and then I will get back to you. But just for the sake of doing it, I'm just going to give you guys, uh, like I love reading like the trigger warnings and the synopsis. I read it to best friend and he's like, that's the book that I just paid for. And I'm like, yeah. But anyways, the dedication says drop your feminism at the door. Hayden Reeves is going to make you his little, well, I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that out loud. Um, but I love that. Love that. But here's the the warning. For those of you who choose to go into this blind, please remember that this is a dark revenge romance, is uh, is a work of fiction. I do not condone any of the situations or actions that take place between these characters. This is a book not to teach you BDSM, so please do not take it as a how-to. There's a lot of bondage without aftercare. My FMC loves their heroine um, as they are unapologetic. If you need a groveling hero, this book is not for you. This is what I love because people like are always like, oh, people who read dark romance, like you're sick, you're da 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 da. It's fiction. If you can't separate fiction from reality, then maybe you don't need to be reading and maybe we should be focusing on something else. That's just my personal opinion, but whatever. With that being said, every character does go through some kind of trauma, physical and emotional, at some point in this story. If you've ever read any of the previous Lords, highly suggested for reading Madness due to spoilers, then you have an idea of what their world is like, but I promise you they have nothing on the Speed Brothers. They wrote the book and then sold it to the devil, so buckle up and get ready for one hell of a ride. Feel free to continue to the prologue if you're like me and have no triggers and like to be surprised, but just remember I warned you, if you do not want to go in blind, please read the trigger warnings and kinks listed below. I am going to go into this blind because I'm pretty sure that's how I went into Carnage and I like I know nothing I didn't even read the back like she is an auto buy author for me any book in this series I'm going to eat it up so we're going to read for an hour and I'm super excited and let's just have some fun so that I'm not Sad and depressed since I'm alone by myself. Alright guys, sorry if you can hear my heater, but it's been an hour. I've read 60 pages, uh, 60 pages so far. I don't know if I'm like a fast or slow reader. I kind of feel like a slow reader. I don't really know. But I guess like that's a page, a minute. So far, so good. We've met Hayden and like a little bit of his background and we met Annabelle slash Charlotte who just got her new assignment which is just like very interesting because in the last few books none of the girls have like how she was like they were just like a lady or chosen or whatever but she's neither but now I guess her assignment is Hayden I don't really know I'm kind of confused but so far so good um I guess I will just keep updating you guys I know it's gonna get good but it's like having to like get back into that world and like into that mentality which is why I feel like I could never I've never not never like the only fantasy books that I read was when I was reading the moral instruments this is like a whole different world of like lords and their policies and their rules and stuff like that so it's like trying to get back because it's been like I think a year or something like that since I read the last book I'm trying to get back into that realm right now but I have a feeling it's gonna be good and I'm gonna love it I'm I'm sat I'm awake literally if I would have read two more pages so basically the first 60 pages they have no interaction with each other so I feel like that's why I was kind of like eh, I can't wait to pick this up but she like finally goes to him or whatever and he's immediately he's like no like she can leave even though like they don't have history but like he's seen her years ago but she's you know trying to be his therapist trying to ask him like questions and stuff like that he's just not having and he's like you can leave and so like she ends up like leaving and she's like okay i'll see you in two weeks like same time she's like 
get, like, this is her assignment, so she's, she's gonna get this man to talk. And he literally tells her, the only way I'm gonna talk to you is if you're naked on your knees with a gag in your mouth. Sir, you just can't say things like that. It's just, you can't do that. I'm sad. And I'll update you guys, because now I'm wide awake. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 11.10 in the morning. I did end up falling asleep in my little chair this morning. Really, I took a little nap. Fall asleep is a bit traumatic. Um, but we are currently on chapter 20 and they've met. A lot of stuff has happened right now. I'm at the part where he has figured out that She's not just his therapist and she's somehow involved with the Lords. And now he's giving her five days in order to like tell her like family and stuff that she's going on vacation with no cell service because he's taking her. And he just put a tracking device in her neck. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited if I do say so myself. Call me crazy, call me whatever, but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm sorry, but I am. Like Leah said, I need him to make me feel like I'm going to a psych ward. So I will update you guys again in a few. But we will be going to In-N-Out because my mom said she's getting In-N-Out for lunch. And now I feel like I have to have In-N-Out for lunch. So I might do that. I might also put in an order for my pictures so we can update these pictures in my room. And then my room will like pretty much feel complete except over here. I do want to put shelves so I can put my purses on there. But that'll be a project for another month. I feel like this was a project in itself, putting up my, putting my stuff up there. But yeah, those are the current vibes. I'm also tempted to go get like a bottle of wine, but then I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. I also want a garden, but I want a like liquid garden, if you know what I mean. But I don't know where to purchase that, so I don't really know. But those are the current, the current vibes. I know you've been quarantined when have you stepped outside. You know I've been you, you. rolling around in the deep end. Thinking I can pull it to your crib and maybe we can cut it for a little. You ain't working, it's the weekend. I just got this weekend. Okay, it is burning on me. I got burdens on me. Watch I follow slowly. Then I catch him reaping. Got a boulder on my shoulder. Talk to me when you're free. Never mind, I'm a side, so is you trying to rap? We me. We're back. It's one o'clock. I feel like my camera's looking dumb. But it's one o'clock. They just let me know that my pictures are <laughs> So we're gonna go pick them up. And now my room is gonna be really pink and really done. Also gonna go pick up some in and out. I have to see this for myself because I'm kind of scared. So everybody's been talking about the spines on the LC. Everybody, my TikTok for you page has been talking about the spines on the LC silver cover, and I haven't been paying attention because that's how I have them. Like I just have them stacked one in front of another, and I just, knowing my luck, the spines are not gonna match. So this is what this spine looks like. It's like super bright. I feel like you can barely see. But it has like a little mountain. I'm scared. I don't have it facing me. Is there Oh my God. Why does the universe hate me? Why? I keep having this issue. Uh, the universe just hates me. Now everyone else is going to have like, like the little mountains that make... Uh, maybe there's a reason why I had it lined up like that. You know, I'm not even just going to make myself mad. We're just going to leave it the way that they were because that's really making me mad but at least I have these covers from Chestnut Springs which I'm very happy and excited about but that makes me murderous I will not lie I will not lie I don't feel like putting real shoes on and we're gonna continue to be comfy cozy today and I haven't worn these in so long Everybody used to make fun of me because in college, these are my black ones. I don't even know where my black ones are, but oh boy, those black ones, did I wear them down? Did I absolutely wear them down? Yes, I did. And am I ashamed about it? Not one bit. You know, they give me like just a little bit of height, you know, as a short girly. I love having my platform stuff just because... I just need to feel like I'm in power. Like at work, I have to wear my booties. Like I feel like I cannot work around these men 
and just not have any type of heels on so that's the current vibe my hair is shedding and I have so much dandruff right now but this is the vibe we're going on a black top I changed so my mom doesn't curse me out but I put on some actual sweats and not my pajamas because I know my family hates when I walk around and then pajamas I think it's a black thing we are so dude like I'm freaking obsessed it looks so cute up there it looks so cute I'm gonna die this is how much we've gotten towards today and this is how much we have left um so we'll see I'm trying to stay up because best friend and I haven't talked on the phone in like some days and it's just like so draining being with someone who is a football coach because all he does is work, 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 work. Like he literally works seven days a week and it's so annoying and I'm so glad that like we're not in the same state and living together because I feel like I would be miserable. He literally texted me that he's on his way right now to the freshman football game and then he wasn't going to be home until late and I'm like, okay, well, can you call me on your way home? And he's like, yeah, but the bus is going to be like super loud. And then he has to call me when he gets to the school. That's just even later, but I don't know. And we'll see if I end up taking it out today. I don't know. Hopefully because we have to plan our trip because we're going to Colorado in December. And I'm trying to scheme and figure out a way for him to come to California because my family is very much over him just being the man on the phone as he's been for the past six years. <laughs> So that's the that's the tea. That's what's going on in my in my life, and that's the current update. So I'm gonna go get the pictures, go get some lunch, and then come back, and then we'll continue with my babes. I really, I really had high hopes I was gonna be able to finish this book by the time I went back to work tomorrow, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I feel like when we come back, because I just haven't eaten like yesterday, all I had was like chips and grapes and strawberries. And some dirty sodas so we need to have a little bit more do more for ourselves you know it's so crazy when I bought this bag I was just like oh I'm only gonna use it like when I go out I'd be just sliding on I don't care I'm just going to the just going to the Walgreens I'm, I'm wearing it I hate that I'd be going and I'd be like obviously like I need my driver's license but I'd be going around like I don't just Apple pay everything like really have the itch and the burn to go to Barnes and Noble, but we're not doing that. We're not. We're just not. We do we see those up there? We're not. I'm probably gonna place an Amazon order tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm gonna stop rambling now. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Got our posters. I will show you it after I eat because I don't want my food to get cold. But when I was also at Walgreens. They had her, and so I had to get her, so I'm going to put her in my fridge. If you know me, you know. Any, a bottle of Moscato Diosti hates to see me coming. Hates to see it. So, we got her for tonight, for a little nightcap. Um, but yeah, and then I got my In-N-Out. My In-N-Out order is, uh, I get my bevy. Is a Rudy beer. Gotta love her. I feel like liking root beer is such an acquired taste. And I make it my whole personality trait. I'm a root beer girly forever in a day. I love me some root beer. That'll be the first drink that I always get. That and a, and a Shirley Temple. Gotta love her. But I get that fries and a double double with a double double animal style with whole grilled onions. I got the grilled onions from Anijah and it just, I love me some onions. So yeah, gonna put her in the fridge so she can be cold. I feel like I haven't had wine in so long. I don't really drink since I've been home, which is not like, it's not like my parents, oh my, like you can't drink. Like literally when I moved home, like they were bringing me cocktails in my room. But I don't know, I just haven't really had the desire, but she will be getting cracked open because this will be the only thing getting cracked open in this room. So 
I will go ahead and show you guys the posters after I eat, but I'm having some little ticky tacky time, and then we'll go back to the reading. Okay, guys, I put up the posters. I was sweating, so I can, I'd be getting frustrated, so I can't be filming while I'm doing it. But I'm so cute. I'm not. Can I get my words together? I'm so obsessed. So basically, the concept, I saw this. Her TikTok, I think, is like Dodo Reads or something like that. But basically, the premise is I want to go to my grandma's house and print, not print, but cut out basically like the scratch-offs. And I want to be able to scratch off these, like my anticipated books. So I feel like it'd be so fun and so cute. The posters are so freaking big, but I'm obsessed. But these are all a bunch of books that I want to read that I don't own. But I have two of them. So I had, these are all of my romance books. I also made these on Canva. But those are my, my romance books. And then these ones are all of my dark romance books that I want to get to. Ah, just so cute. Because I have two sections. Ignore my room. But this is my thriller slash dark romance corner over here. And then I have buy me books and tell me I'm pretty because duh why not and then I have all of my romance books over here my room feels very much complete now and I'm obsessed the only issue is that I really wish there was pink scratch offs but there's not like there's really only gold and silver and I just don't know what would fit the vibe better because obviously when I have it on there the whole thing is gonna be covered in that color I'm just really really conflicted this is such a bookish room I cannot the only thing that I also want is I want to get another book that I can have on that side you can't really see because my lights in here are pink but the little book that I have floating over here I want to get one for the other side but all the books that I do have I either want to read and don't want them to be on my wall but I do have a little library that's like down the street so I might go to that sometime this week or something and go find a little like titsy book to put up because I only care about like the pages being there. I'm absolutely freaking obsessed with my room and I don't ever want to leave it like why do I have to go to work? I just want to sit here and read my books all day. They buy me buy me books and tell me I'm pretty. I'm obsessed because that's all this man does is I will literally find those TikToks that'll be like oh if you don't respond to this person you have to buy them a book and then he'll be like what book and then I send him the book and then the book is at my house two days later. <laughs> I'm gonna stop procrastinating and get back get back to reading my book because I feel like it's kind of late now but for whatever reason the wi-fi in our house is not working which I feel like is also like should be a good thing because then I like I can't watch tv because I just have the burning itch to either watch Gossip Girl or Friends and like just binge it. It's fine it's okay we're gonna get comfy cozy in the chair again and we'll read so instead of doing a time lapse I'll just give you guys some updates if anything crazy happens but I have my fan on because it's so freaking hot in here. Ride around five, you know I can't risk it all like a dive. Parked at your crib, I don't do that often. Leave me on red, yeah, you do that often. Right. I don't ask why, I just watch you hop. Okay guys, I think it's like three o'clock in the morning. But we are on chapter 63. And we're like 529 pages in. Which is crazy. Sometimes I just really can't believe, like, I know I said I was reading the vlog, I feel like I'm a slow reader. But sometimes I just can't believe that I read this much. But I also don't have a life, so I kind of can't believe it. But, so much has happened in this book. But, like, I just feel like I can't talk. It, it, there's just so much smut. There's just so much, so much smut in this book. And it's funny, because Erin's at work right now. We both work uh, overnight, but she works... I think she either works like three or four days she's a nurse and then she's like off but she <laughs> I told her I said a lot of the stuff I've had to look up because I'm like I don't even know what this is I don't know anything about this stuff and so I saw something and I sent it to her and I'm like dude my jaws on the floor what the f is going on with this book so <laughs> she's getting she's gonna start reading it because I think tonight is her last shift but 
yeah I cannot believe we are closer to being done than we were to starting it but I'm at the part where she basically failed her assignment and because she failed her assignment she essentially has to become a breeder for the lords and that essentially means like she's literally just used by the men to like have babies and like that's her only purpose just guys come in and out and you know they wait and then if she's not pregnant and then she does it all over again and then after she is pregnant then she gives birth and then she does it all over again but um he obviously doesn't want that for her because he loves her and she loves him and so he just asked her to marry him because he's a spade brother and they have like different rules than the other lords so he just asked her to marry him i don't know how because she's supposed to report so it's 10 o'clock and she's supposed to report at midnight but i don't really know how that's how they're gonna get married in two hours i just think that's crazy or i don't know if they're just gonna wait until the next day and not go but I have a feeling that it's, they would send somebody for her, I think. But this book is crazy. But I do love me some Hayden. Like, I just feel like he has very soft, like, tendencies when he needs to. But he's also psycho. Like, they're all psycho. And I love that for them. Me, I don't want a psycho man in real life. Like, obviously, I want a man who's going to, like, defend me. Like, there was a part where he had told like they were at the gas station and he had told her to like wait to go to the bathroom because like he was gonna watch out for anything or whatever and she basically said like screw you went to the bathroom by herself and there was a guy in the bathroom who was basically gonna attempt to rape and kill her obviously like he came in like knocked the guy out and stuff like that which you know that is what i would want in like a real life man obviously i need like a protector or someone to defend me but i feel like that's the only trait that i would want in real life me personally but i do love it in a good book i do love it in a good book but yeah we're on chapter 63 i think it's like four o'clock or three o'clock in the morning something like that but i'm wide awake and i have a feeling i'm just gonna try and bust through this until until i'm done and over it but i cannot tell you guys i've fallen asleep in this chair so many times today it is so freaking comfortable it's insane on how easy i can fall asleep in this chair like i literally was sitting in this chair and like mark walked in and i was like <laughs> And when my mom called me this morning to lock the door, I went deep, deep sleep in this chair. I get, there's just so many positions I could sit in it. Like, I could sit in it regularly. I could kick my feet up on my bed. I just love it so much. I got an Amazon. I did go ahead and make me another dirty soda because I'm just obsessed. Truly so obsessed, so. I will continue to update you guys if anything else goes crazy, but I'm excited that they're getting married. And I think it's crazy because I'm also, like, tempted, like, do I want to do a time lapse because I've seen people like crying about this book and I'm like oh my god am I gonna cry again like what's gonna happen I don't know I don't know I'm a little scared I'm a little scared well I've been over here sobbing once again because I'm a book sobber oh my god so Hayden like left her and now we just found out that her mom, something is going on between her mom, her biological mom, and Hayden. And it makes so much sense as to why her mom was. Anytime she brought Hayden up, it was just, oh, he's just your assignment. He's just this. He's just that. I guess Hayden was with her mom, but I don't understand when. I I don't have any word. I'm like, I, I went from crying to my jaw on the floor to I... <laughs> I'm stressed and I know that I'm gonna finish this book now like I'm not going to sleep until I finish this freaking book it's 5 43 and I'm definitely finishing this book in the next few hours like my jaw is literally on the floor I can't believe it <laughs> all right guys it's 8 30 in the morning I finished the book I already put it on my shelf and updated my story graph but dang Dang, 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 diggity, dang, 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 is all I can freaking say. The plot twists that were happening at the end, there's just so much. Like, I can't even explain everything. If you read it, you read it. I just feel like every plot twist involves these sicko parents. It's just insane. Like, I don't know how she comes up with these plots, these 
I don't, I, I don't freaking know, but they truly are insane and I'm going to eat them up every single time. Also, it is the fifth book, which we still have like two more. Like I know we have two more and then I'm like, is she going to pull a Rene Kent? Do you like the second generation? I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to be sitting here dumbfounded, dumbfounded for the rest of the morning. Yeah, definitely going to have to read some light fluffy books after that one because that made me sick to my stomach thumb literally I felt like I was about to throw up like sick <laughs> but anyways I hope you guys like this video I really enjoyed filming it I don't know maybe I might do like since today's technically my Monday I'll do like a week of reading like cute little new release books because I have I guess not like new release but just romance because I have Fall With Me, Collide, and Bridesmaids Undercover and I feel like I could read those three books this week. I feel like that could be my goal and that could be another you know reading video because now I'm kind of tempted I'm like what if I just like batch from a whole bunch of videos and then post them all in, all in October. I feel like I could maybe do that. I don't know but that's currently the vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time and hopefully I won't be crying in that book because I feel like I've been crying. I cried this whole video. <laughs> I don't want to be alone with everybody. Okay, this is something that I'm used to.